When it's time to do this, oh boy, you definitely should be using this. Hey there, I am Jeff, the Radio DJ Dude, and I am about to reveal my super simple, awesomely streamlined voice tracking workflow. This is exactly what I use to make sure that voice tracking experience is as seamless as possible. And the way I do it is by using my top secret copywritten prep method. Now, of course, none of that's true. Oh, but the information is gold. And you have a backstage pass to this whole nutty process. Let's go. We are on the air. Okay, fine, you got me. When I was coming up with acronyms for this method, I did do a little uh, giddy dance when the acronym is spelled out prep. Because come on, in radio, it's all about show prep. The more you prep, the better your show. So we're using P-R-E-P as the fundamentals for this voice tracking workflow. And breaking that down, you first plan or prep what you're gonna say, then you record it, then you edit it, and then you process it. And that's how you get preppy with it. So step one, plan or prep. This is key. Otherwise, you're gonna be staring at that mic for hours, just doping around, trying to come up with things to say. It's the worst use of your time. A little prep goes a long way. Well, this isn't gonna be a deep dive into what kind of content your voice tracks should focus on. I did a whole separate video about that and it's in one of these corners. Find it, click it, live it. But I will give you a bonus content tip. Sometimes on my all 80s powerhouse, triplex80s.com, I will craft a voice track around a movie or TV drop-in. Some people wonder, well, how do I smoothly integrate movies or TV drop-ins into a break? I think one of the best ways is you set them up by asking a question and let the movie clip provide the answer. Extreme 80s fun on Triple X 80s. Hey, I'm Jim and Jeff Scott, and I know you have a lot of options for 80s radio stations, but honestly, if you are considering another one... Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Hey! Think with fly thing. Yeah, what he said. Another idea is actually referencing a popular movie character in your setup. Extreme 80s fun right here on Triple X 80s. I'm Jam and Jeff Scott. So happy to say that this 80s experience has been approved by Axel Foley. Don't worry about me. We got cocaine and coffee here. We're going to get wide and have a big party. Well, the 80s party rolls on. Triple X 80s. <laughs> Maybe within that audio drop-in, it's providing a quote-unquote review, a testimonial of your station. Triple X 80s. Hey, I'm Jam and Jeff Scott, and apparently not everyone's comfortable with the internet station playing the 80s. This city is headed for a disaster of biblical proportion. Well, what do you mean, biblical? Uh, exaggerate much? It's Triple X 80s. Triple X 80s. Hey, I'm Jam and Jeff Scott, and after one listen, you'll definitely know how Meg Ryan felt in the 80s. Yes! Yes! Oh! Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh. I'll have what she's having. She's having triple X80s. It's all how you creatively spin it. That becomes a great backbone for a lot of voice tracks using these movie or TV or even news drop-ins. But your time in the quote unquote production room will be expedited if you already fill your basket with these drop-ins or other sound effects before you even start recording your tracks. So first download all those drop-ins. I mean, you don't necessarily need to know how you're gonna interact with them when you're recording, but first collect 10 to 20 of them before you record. I don't script out what I'm gonna say. No, I listen to the drop-in and just see what kind of creative nonsense that it triggers and then I, I go with that. But right off the top, let's get our definition straight. When I refer to a voice track, for me on my station, I'm referring to a voiceover cue that's about 13 to 16 seconds in length that will play over the intro of a song. Triple X 80s with Jam and Jeff Scott and our mantra from the 80s. Wax on, right hand. Wax off, left hand. Or it was really good personal hygiene advice for your uh, <laughs> nether regions. Triple X 80s. And to make your planning or prep process even easier, it's really smart to create a list of content categories. These are themes about things you can always speak about. So maybe you have a catch-all station promotional related category where when you crack the mic, you promote the station's website. You could talk about how you take requests and how to make them. 
if you're running contests, if you have any, you know, features you want to let people know about, you know, that is a standalone break in itself. Another category could be related to music info, artist tidbits. One category could focus on pop culture or entertainment type news or stories. And of course, my favorite is listener interaction. These are voice tracks where I feature real phone calls from listeners. But I can do that because of many years on the air on real radio, I banked almost a thousand phone calls. Come on! Woo! Triple X 80s. Hey there, I am Jam and Jeff Scott. You know, we had a hard time finding your phone number. If you ever have that problem, just head into any truck stop. It's usually scratched in one of the restroom stalls. <laughs> For extreme 80s fun, call Triple X 80s. <laughs> to me, that just adds another layer of real radio ness to my internet radio station. So once you have an idea of what you want to say, let's go record it. Now for the recording phase, I offer this huge honking caveat, just like the huge honking sty I have going on now in my eye. Now if you're using a full featured piece of radio playout software, like Myriad or Playout One, I mean, this is irrelevant. They already have really feature rich voice tracking functionality baked in. However, like me, if you're using the very awesome and free Radio DJ, eh, not much voice tracking capability baked into the software. So that's why we need to record all of our tracks uh, outside the program. And to me, for free, the best app for this is Audacity. If you're doing simple two-track stereo recording and editing, it really can't be beat. That's what I use. And if I am using a lot of movie clips or other drop-ins or sound effects, one way that really expedites the process is to have them all loaded up in an app that allows me to easily access and play them back through the board. All I need are some tasty waves, cool buzz, and I'm fine. So I have a couple of audio player apps on my iPad that I use, and I just connect the iPad to my little mixer here, and that makes interacting real time with this sound so much easier. And then I don't have to insert it later when I'm editing the voice track. And let your 80s freak flag fly. All right. That's great. It's triple X80s. So to save yourself time on the back end, try to record your voice and any other audio element that you're interacting with real time at the same time. And of course, all the boilerplate recording tips go really without saying. Watch your levels, make sure to record in a quiet environment, proper mic technique. After I've recorded my 18 voice tracks, they're all here on the timeline. I just start from the beginning and make cuts, edit out the bad parts. But since these are relatively short voiceover cues, since I'm using them over song intros, if I flub one of them, I just find it easier to go back and try to get a clean take, which minimizes the amount of editing. But sometimes I do like the first half of one take and the second half of another, and then I just slice and dice that. Triple X 80s, and no need to go searching. Of course, I play the back to make sure they each sound great, but we're not gonna import this large file into our radio playout software, no. We have to first do some audio processing and all that sound, some EQ, some compression. We really want to make sure that audio pops when it hits the air. If you're thinking, wow, that's a lot of stuff you have to do. Well, yeah, if you want to do it the hard way, come on. We're all about smashing that easy button. And the way to do that with an Audacity is to create a macro. In one click, we've EQ'd the audio with this preset, then... We normalize it, hit it with a compressor, and then a limiter to make sure it doesn't exceed a certain audio level. But to apply that macro, you have to first select your audio and then apply it. But once again, too many clicks. I suggest you go over to Preferences and create a shortcut, which I have done here. So, for example, for this Radio Voice 02, I want to lock that to Control-Shift-V for V voice track. And now... I highlight the audio, control shift V, boom. Triple X 80s. Hello, I am Jamma Jeff Scott over on the phone. Very exciting. I give it one more playback, make sure the processing sounds good and the levels are in the range we want them. Then I select the audio cue, come up here to file export audio. And it's really key that you choose current selection. You want to give it a name, choose where to save it, and then save that sucker. This is such a time saving compared to having to go through and apply each effect individually. 
These macros are not tough to create, but if you don't even got time for that, well, don't you worry your sweet radio head. Right there in the description is the link to pick up my super cool Audacity macro presets. And for all my radio DJ users, the big question has become, well, how do I effectively pull off voice tracking within this software? That's been a little tricky, but if you'd allow me, I'd like to share this video right up here to the right. This is how I pull off voice tracking within Radio DJ and do it in such a way where I guarantee every voice track will fit perfectly over the song intro that Radio DJ chooses. Using this system, I'm guaranteed to avoid all train wrecks when it comes to voice tracks stepping on song intros. And that's key if you're looking to pull off a polished professional sound. To me, that's the next video you need to watch because we've just taken you through the best way to prepare and record your tracks. Now what do you do with them? Well, you need to then bring them in to Radio DJ and that video tackles the best way to do that. Whew, that's a lot of words. Let's wrap this up. Congratulations, you're now a graduate of the Radio DJ Dude's prep method. You're a preppy. Now go get preppy with it. Grab that mic and record some cool voice tracks. I am Jeff, the Radio DJ Dude. If you dug this little walk down voice track lane, well, I'd love a like and subscribe from you, and I do so appreciate that. Thank you so much. And until our next little Radio Rodeo, you keep rocking those mics all over the world. <laughs>